Hi, my name is Yunak Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today, we're going to be talking about using configurations inside SolidWorks CAM Pro. Now, I went ahead and designed this part, and on the CAM side, I, since I have CAM Pro, I was able to put it on the lathe, and I programmed it that way, right? Now, what I have to do next is be able to get into this pocket that's here and mill it. Now, I could try to redesign this part in a brand new part file or create another SOLIDWORKS configuration, try to go about that way. But instead, my solution is going to lie in me using configurations inside CAM. So I'll be able to program it without having to start over. So before I do that, just like you would in real life, you would have taken this off your lathe and then put on your mill. We're going to do a similar process here. So to do that, I'll go to Simulate Toolpath. I'll go ahead and do that. Perfect. Now I'll take away any remaining chips. Oh, let me go ahead and tell it. Perfect. Now I'll save this as an STL file. We'll call this guy mill config. And now I can start my new configuration. It's really simple to do. I just right click on configurations and add it. And now, just like we previously did, we can set up the machine, the stock, and the coordinate system. Let me go ahead and do that. So again, just like you normally would, you set up your mill inch, your tool crib, your post processor. And now when it comes to the stock, well, instead of using a part bounding box or a sketch, you can actually use that previous STL file going back to that workflow where we go ahead, grab the part that was worked on the lathe, and then put it on an actual mill. So let me go ahead and do that. There it is. And now I can set my coordinate system. Let me go ahead and use the stock bounding box. I'll put it right here. I just have to make sure that the Z direction points in the correct um, orientation. That dictates where the spindle will be coming from. So let me go ahead and set that up. Very good. So now the coordinate system has been set, the stock and machine. It's as easy now as clicking on extract machinable features. Let's generate our operation plan, generate a tool path, and simulate it. Okay, let's see what the end result is. As you can see for my stock, it's that area that wasn't machined right, that groove. I'll go ahead and click play and I'll let it do its thing. So again, we can see the ease of use and how much of a time saver this is for us to be able to use that same part, not have to start fresh or use a SOLIDWORKS configuration, although possible, I just programmed it and created a separate configuration on the cam side and I'm able to get the end result that I want, right? So if you have never used this, I strongly recommend it. Again, if you have any questions or comments about this method, go ahead and let us know right in the comment section. Give us a like and thanks again.